Thank you, Doctor. Hey, yes, the great NBC orchestra in the box set. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, the Mighty Carson art players pay tribute to one of the most successful children's shows in the history of television, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, whose star, Fred Rogers, after 24 years, will soon do his final show. Here is our version of Mr. Rogers' final program, as we'd like to see it. Mm. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood A wonderful day to be neighborly Won't you be my neighbor? Hi, neighbor. Are you, are you having a nice day? Well, I am, yes, I certainly am. Do you know you're the most wonderful person in the, in the whole world? That's right. And I like you. Yes. And I hope you love me, too. It's just a beautiful day to be alive, isn't it? Well, boys and girls, why don't we go over and talk to Mr. Fish? Here's your breakfast, Mr. Fish. Do you know what I think, boys and girls? I, I think Mr. Fish has bought the farm. Maybe, maybe he's just sleeping. Up and at him, Mr. Fish. Nope, he's dead, all right. That's what happens when you forget to feed Mr. Fish like Mr. Rogers did. By the way, boys and girls, there may be one or two of you out there who haven't yet joined the Mr. Rogers Pal for Life Club. For only $12, you get a membership card and a certificate stating, somebody loves me. Remember, you can't be my pal until you've sent your $12 and have an official <laughs> membership card. Remember, if you don't send it, then nobody will ever love you, and your dog will die. <laughs> Do you know what these are, boys and girls? That's right. These are baby shoes. And you know what? Mr. Rogers was once a baby a long, long time ago. And do you know how babies suddenly appear in the world where before there weren't any around? Well, I know, and I'll show you. <laughs> this is a mommy doll and a daddy doll. And they love each other very, very much. So what they do... <laughs> night, they get under the covers, and nine months later, Mommy Doll looks like this. So Daddy Doll takes Mommy Doll to the hospital. They go into the hospital, and the very next day, out comes Mommy Doll and her new baby doll. Then the Daddy Doll comes out, to take them home. Whoops. <laughs> it, it looks like Daddy Doll has made a new friend, Miss Nurse Doll. And they'd better be careful because nine months later, Miss Nurse Doll might look like this. And then it's all over for Daddy. Because that's when Mommy Doll comes in, calls in Mr. Lawyer Doll, who does to Daddy Doll what Daddy Doll did to Mommy Doll nine months earlier. <laughs> Only Mr. Lawyer Doll does it better, but that's why. Right. <laughs> well, boys and girls, why don't we go to the kitchen for a nice, cold glass of milk? Would you like a pretend glass of milk? You know, what this needs is some syrup. Last night, Mr. Rogers went to a party and he's not feeling so good today. Can you say, bombed? <laughs> Mr. Rogers... You see, milk comes from the cow, boys and girls, and 
This comes from a paper bag. <laughs> that was an eye opener. Can you say eye opener? <laughs> Would you like a pretend slug? Now, why don't we go over and see how our Mr. Plant is doing? There's Mr. Plant. <laughs> and this Mr. Plant was sent to me by a pal in a far off land called Columbia. <laughs> oh, that could be a pretend policeman. I don't know about you boys and girls, but I'm hungry. Mm-mm. How about some donuts? Now let Mr. Rogers show you how we make some donuts. First, you take the dough, and you need plenty of dough. I need plenty of dough because the ex-Mrs. Rogers needs plenty of dough, and that's why Mr. Rogers has been here every day for 24 years. Now here's what we have. We have our vat of very hot grease, and we have to be very careful because it's 400 degrees. Now we take our little donuts and we drop them in the hot fat. Do you hear them frying? Be very careful. Boys and girls, if you take a camera close up, you can actually see the donuts. Oh. Mr. Rogers has a pretend hurt and he has to excuse himself to go to the pretend closet. <laughs> Can you say sterile? You know, I'm glad you could spend this time with me on my last show, but it isn't goodbye forever. Who knows, you may be in your bedroom one night, look up, and I'll be there outside the window. You see, this is, this is my last show in this neighborhood, and I'm moving to a new neighborhood where I've made a, a new friend. This is what we call a grown-up. Can you say, hooker? I love everybody, especially you, because you're the most important person in my whole life. And right now I'm taking you to a pretend motel. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a wonderful day to be neighborly. Won't you be my neighbor? 